Dr. Bradshaw here again with Cairo Synergy talking about mid-back stiffness and tightness. Usually these muscles are right across the mid-back right here below the shoulder blade and attached to the ribs. So we're going to stretch all of these out in through here. Okay, a lot of you who are uh, sitting have sitting jobs. You're on a computer a lot or you drive a lot. Those muscles get tight. We tend to slouch a lot when we're in that position cause these muscles to become very stiff and tight over time. These two stretches work great for loosening that up. Here's how you do it. You're gonna get on the ground, okay? You're gonna sit on your heels. I'll show you right here. You're gonna sit on your heels. <clears throat> We're gonna start on the right side. So you're gonna place the left arm, elbow to wrist, on the ground. So it's flush on the ground, like this, okay? Your other hand, you're gonna place behind your back. So it looks like this, it's sitting like this. So the hand is resting right behind the, uh, the waistband right here, okay? So you're sitting on your heels, left arm, forearm on the ground, right hand behind your back, and then you're going to twist towards the ceiling, looking up at the ceiling. And you hold this for five deep breaths. After five deep breaths, you switch sides. You do the other side for five deep breaths. And then we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go back to the right side again. Again, heels, or sorry, your, or your rear end on your heels, left forearm down on the ground. Uh, and by the way, if your butt does not touch your heels in this position, then put a pillow or two so that way you can feel like your rear end is resting on something, okay? If your knees can't bend that well, whatever reason, and if that's the case, go to my knee stretching exercises and do those too, because you need it. But put something underneath here so you can at least get into some sort of relaxed position kneeling, okay? Then the forearm down. This time the hand doesn't go behind the back, the hand goes behind the neck, okay? So the left forearm, again, on the ground, hand behind the neck, and as you're holding here, you're gonna again turn the same way looking up towards the ceiling. You're gonna hold that for five deep breaths. And then when you're done, go to the other side and do that for five deep breaths, okay? That is one cycle. You're gonna do three cycles of those a day, minimum. A lot of you uh, also who are golfers, who tend to do a lot of rotation with the spine. If you don't have good biomechanics, one side or the other can get very tight. So this is a tremendously beneficial stretch for all of you who get tight through here. So do those, as I said, there is no maximum to how many you can do. If you feel like this has been a chronic problem for you for a long time, you may need to do this every hour for a couple of weeks to really get this to loosen up. This is a tremendous stretch. You may even get some clicking or some popping as the ribs or the vertebrae rotate and pop back into place because there's so much misalignment and tension back there, that is okay, all right? Have fun with this.